Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, well, it's morning anyway when I'm recording this. Uh, just wanted to do a short video update, second video, whatever. Uh, showing why uh, someone is described as dire working conditions. Uh, so, I just want to make a quick video about that, showing how, how I work, I guess, a little bit. Uh, nice, beautiful sky this morning behind me, you can see. Uh, we're going to, today's project is going to be installing a new blue top steering box. If anyone's familiar with that, they uh, rebuild the uh, power steering and manual steering boxes uh, for different, various uh, manufacturers. Uh, look them up on, on interwebs uh, under blue top steering boxes. You can find them. Uh, so uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, get a quick shot of that power steering box here in the back of my parts truck. Uh, there it is. Um, hence the, you see the blue top on it. Uh, hence the name. Uh, for you Ford guys, they do upgrade and put a needle bearing system in the bottom. So it's supposed to be a stronger system. So anyway, on to the shop as it was or is. It is an old, not, ant not antique, but it was an old tobacco barn. Uh, that we're now using a shop uh, in, just, in a storage. Uh, me and my dad share the space. Uh, we're just have an old recycled door from the local school system. Uh, there's my bedside hanging on the wall. As you can see, lots of stuff hanging on the wall. We're just dealing with a dirt floor. Uh, we do have carpet over it. Uh, that helps for any screws or anything that's dropped. You can find them because if you've ever worked on top of dirt and dropped a bolt, you know how difficult that can be. So, getting more parts on the wall. Here's the workbench out in the barn area. Um, do you know it? It comes in handy. We've got a new, new to us metal cabinet, refurbished, hanging there on the wall. Here's the truck. Hasn't much changed since the last video. I haven't had a whole lot done. Um, done a few things. Not much, really. Did fill in trim hole here. Uh, that the thing sticking out the little plastic tip that holds the patch in. It's from an Eastwood kit. Uh, made to repair rust holes. It wasn't rust, but it was just a no weld way of filling the hole. I don't have a MIG welder, so small sheet metal welding is not really easy to lay down around here. Uh, underneath the back of the truck, you'll see it's just the dirt floor. Uh, so, doing anything much back here, I will move the truck forward over the carpet. There's a shot of our antique tractor. I say ours, mostly dad's. <laughs> it's a 72 model, I believe. Um, Ford tractor. Yeah. We do like our Fords. Uh, it's cluttered. This is our pathway to another, I guess you call a shop. Uh, wooden door with a recycled closer. Um, getting from the school system locally here. Uh, and here we're in a little better shape. We have a wood floor. Uh, recently was drywalled and insulated, so stays fairly comfortable. Uh, another workbench with a bench grinder and an old vise. My cheap toolbox and part washer. Another vintage <laughs> drill press. We like we have a lot of vintage tools around here. Uh, perhaps maybe most vintage the operating tool here is our air compressor. We use here at the barn. It's a it's definitely an antique. Um, I'm not certain, but I believe it's from the 1940s. Don't know if the date is on here or not. Let's see. I can't make it out, but I'm pretty sure it's from the 40s. Anyway, uh, barnwood wall there with their tools hanging and parts. It's uh, it's not much, but it's home, and it's doing me well so far. Uh, keep you guys posted on any updates that I feel are video worthy. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the videos, of course, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day.